Welcome all in the log 4J series part two. In this part, we are going to learn that how you can configure log 4J in your Selenium automation framework. For this purpose, I have taken the example of this already created automation framework, Selenium automation framework, which is created using the Maven concept. In this framework, you will see there is a file that is called pom.xml. This is a uh, Maven, uh, Maven pom.xml file. And whenever you want to add any jar, you have to add the dependency in jar. So in my case, we uh, need to add uh, two dependency in pom.xml like org apache logging 4j, log4j core API and the log4j API here. So I'm using the latest 2.20 version for that. So once you add it after that, what you are going to do, you will see that in your Maven project, there will be a uh, there will be a folder structure SRC main resources. If this folder structure is already available in your project, okay. So in that case, uh, you can use it. If it is not created, you can create by your uh, you can create in your Maven project by right click SRC main resources. If you want to see that how you can uh, how you can create a, a Maven project in different ways, you can watch my video on creating Maven project which is available on my channel and I will share the link of that uh, video in the description of this video. So now again, if this folder structure is already available in that case, you can create a file that is called log4j2.properties file. So how you can create it? Simply right click is you can uh, right click on your project and you, you can select the option new file and just give the extension of that file is dot properties. So when you create this file, it is a blank file. And after that, you can, uh, you can put the, this code in your log4j properties file. These are the settings which is going to uh, configure the log4j in your project. So uh, first of all, I'm just giving the example of uh, you can say console logger. What is console logger? Whenever you want to, whenever you want to uh, uh, log something in your console while running your Selenium automation, you can use this type of setting in which the first one is you can say uh, configure root logger and and configure root logger. First setting is root logger dot level equal to i'm just giving info you can give it uh, you can say info debug error warning so in my previous video you have already seen that uh, there are different type of uh, type of loggers are there which you want to which you can show you in your uh, log 4 j log so currently i'm giving the info so only info related uh, things will be available here if you want to show mostly uh, logging information then you should select the option debug here so now other than that, uh, how you are going to tell whether you want to uh, log the things in your console only root logger appender ref standard output dot ref should be console logger. Now below it, you are just giving the other configuration for your console appender like console type is consoles and here you are giving the pattern. What is the pattern? Pattern means whenever any information is going to be printed in your, uh, you can say in your console, there should be a pattern. It, it is not going to print only the a name of the file or message only it will also print the some pattern like here i'm using the pattern to print the date and time so you will see when i will run your run this uh, project here in the console you will see the date also uh, appended with the logger so now after this what we can do after that we have to uh, we i'm just going to uh, show you that in my automation i have uh, test cases file like left menu test and user resident test file. These are the test cases file where I've written the my test ng selenium test there. So I'm just opening a file user rest, user resident test of Java. So this is the file. So in this file, how you are how you are going to use the logger. First of all, uh, you can say in your class under class, you have to uh, write a line like private static logger logger equal to log manager dot get logger. So whenever you click on this, you will get the uh, related uh, you can say related import statement and you have to click on that. So first of all, you have to create this line in your uh, every test case file, okay, uh, within the class. And after that, in every test case, you have to write a line logger.info. So here it is totally depends on you that whether you want to use logger.info function, you want to logger.debug, logger.error. So different type of functions are uh, given there so that it depends on that, what type of information you want to uh, log in your a log for your test case. For example, here I want to put a information like uh, validate, complete, name, test case started. So I'm just giving the information. So that's why I'm using a logger.info. Now here you can say in case of uh, catch here, uh, I want to capture the information that is related to the, you can say error. So in that case, you can use the function logger.error. So now 
this information will be logged in your uh, you can say in your uh, in your console uh, file as a error okay. so there are different option for that so once you are uh, done it now you can run it just right click on your this uh, file or you can uh, right click on your project uh, same way as you run your maven project so when you run it you will see the console uh, will show you the logger like here you can see the logger is printing here so now after that uh, i'm going to show you the another way like uh, First, I've shown you that how you can print the logs on your console. Now I'm going to show you that how you can print the how you can print the uh, log on your particular file. It's because my, you know, mostly people uh, uh, you can say store the uh, logs uh, in a in a file. They save the logs in a file. Here. So in this case, whenever you want to use it in the log 4G properties file, you have to use this. Uh, you can say this data here. Okay, in this data, the first thing is that you can say property dot base file. So I'm just giving the uh, path of the folder where your log file will be saved here. Second thing is that uh, root logger level debug. Why I'm giving the debug here? So that I told you, uh, if I'm giving to uh, give the logger level as debug, so it will print all the information related to the debug error warning, which which comes in the hierarchy that have already you can say discuss in the my previous video video of uh, log four G over here. In the same way, you can say. Uh, how it is going to save the data in the file because you are writing root logger appender of rolling reference to file log. Now the file logger uh, logger related information you are giving just below it. So first the important thing is that appender dot rolling file name. So here you are giving the base path less Pradeep log. It means base path is coming from there. You can see base path you have already given log. Logs is the base path and within the log uh, logs folder it will create a uh, you can say log file Pradeep dot Okay, so other than that, you are using the pattern as I told you. Whenever information is going to be printed in your uh, file, at the same time, it will it will append the date, time, something like that. So that is uh, you can say used by the that is given by the pattern. So now, uh, so this is the file here. Now this is file. This is the complete file here, and you can see the my log folders is here blank here. Now I have run it. When I run it, you can see on my console nothing is printing here, but uh, file Pradeep log logic. Uh, Pradeep plot log file is created here. Now let me open this file. If you open this file at the right side, you can say this is the file here. You here you can say different type of <coughs> logging information is printed as well as you can see the uh, just before every logger you can see the time here 2020 something like that. So in this way uh, you can save your logs different type of logs in your serial automation and which can help in analyzing the reason of failure. So uh, in my uh, in my next video I will show you. Uh, uh, creating the same thing live step by step so so that you can uh, do it yourself by following the video so if you have uh, liked this video you can click on the like button if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you